Welcome back, YouTube Nation. This is Johnny again from Bicycle's Point of View video blog. Hey, so will Nairo Quintana win this year's Tour de France? Will Nairo Quintana, or Nairo Quintana, as they say in Colombia, win the 2016 Tour de France? What's your thoughts? Well, uh, I personally think he has a really good chance of winning this year's Tour de France. Um, there is a time trial that is not an uphill time trial that uh, will be somewhat of a challenge for him because that's not his specialty. But they just kind of threw one in there. Um, they threw in some early mountain stages in the race. And they threw uh, two or three summit finishes where he can really um, eat up some time among his rivals. So uh, the key for Nairo Quintana is this year to survive on the flats survive on that time trial he doesn't have to um, make a remarkable time he just can't lose over a minute to the rest of his rivals and then just make the rest of that time up on the mountains so um, can Nairo do this of course he can last year he made up almost uh, two minutes on the front runner Chris Froome and just a couple of stages so Nairo is a very young very talented and very gifted climber from Boyaca, uh, Colombia. Um, I believe I believe it's Boyaca, Colombia, where he's from. Um, if you know that uh, of a different place he might be from, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, I'm either thinking it's Boyaca or Cumbita, so um, don't know exactly how you say the names, but. Uh, Nairo Quintana, not, not very discussed in the interwebs or the blogosphere of cycling for some reason. For some reason, all you hear is Chris Froome this, or Peter Sagan that, or uh, Alberto Contador this, he did that. But no, no mention of Nairo Quintana. And maybe it's because he's not a very um, braggadocious kind of a character. He's not a very colorful or... A flamboyant character in a peloton. He's quiet. He keeps himself. Uh, his uh, physical uh, appearance is somewhat of a uh, outwardly um, demure, uh, maybe timid, or uh, maybe he's not physically impressive like the other cyclists, which are mostly over six feet tall. I mean, we're talking about someone from um, the Andes region. Where most people there are about five foot three, five foot five. Um, they grow up eating potatoes and herding llamas and things like that. And maybe that doesn't appeal to a lot of people. Uh, however, Nairo's humility, just uh, the way he's not, you know, always uh, patting himself on the back like other professional athletes are, and just you know, bringing on all this undue attention to themselves. That actually is a uh, positive for me. I'm actually, I actually admire him for um, being able to have accomplished so much in just a short, in just such a short time, and still not act all big-headed about it like some other athletes do. So my hope is that this year Nairo Quintana does win the Tour de France. My hope is that he becomes the first Colombian to um, take that title. I mean, he's already won the Giro d'Italia. He's won Tirreno Adriatico. He's won several other um, uh, notable races um, throughout his career. So uh, the Tour de France is just one more stepping stone and um, not only for Nairo, but for Latin American cycling, for Colombians. Um, I'm not a Colombian, but um, I, I, you know, do uh, root for them and I hope that, you know, he, he can become um, one of the first uh, Colombian and Latin Americans to win such a prestigious race. So um, I'm rooting for Nairo, and uh, like like the slogan says, and Nairo we trust. So uh, let's let's go Nairo. Uh, let's take that Tour de France this year. Um, you can do it. And um, best wishes to the other guys. But I think Nairo is going to take it this year. Again, uh, what's your thoughts? Please leave your comments and questions below. And again, this is Johnny, and thanks for watching.